are among the most important vehicles on the street. School buses making sure our kids arrive safe every day. And that's no small feat when the snow falls and the temperatures take a dangerous dip. CBS just Lauren Victory takes us inside a Chicago bus barn. When temperatures plunge, my day usually starts around 4:30. Anthony Gardunio's amount of sleep drops too. We were here about 2:30 in the morning to make sure that all the buses were on. We might need to spend the night this week because of our likely record-breaking forecast. Gardunio cares for 78 Chicago public school kid carrying buses as the maintenance director at United Quick Transportation. Anything is rubber. Uh, it's affected a lot by the cold. Uh, because it gets real stiff and uh, easy, it breaks easier. Flipping the fleet could get tricky too. The buses run on diesel and some have older batteries than others. And I have to give it a call a jump, so it kind of help it to start. Uh, uh, and usually if the, the bus is, is, is turns on right away, it'll take me five minutes. If not, it can take me up to a half hour. These buses have no insulation. It's just straight metal and glass. Meaning the toasty task of making it warm enough inside for those young passengers could take hours today and tomorrow. That, of course, is a constant battle with an extremely cold blast every time the door opens. The men and women behind the wheel risk getting sick, but their grit and dedication, do you like your bus driver? Mm -hmm. Doesn't go unnoticed. He loves her. The first day he met her, he was, he, met, he loves his bus driver. Their job is, underappreciated. And get this, even if school is canceled, those buses still have to run, meaning your friendly neighborhood bus driver might still have to work. I'm Lauren Victory reporting for CBS 2 News. Bus mechanics say they also need to closely monitor antifreeze and oil during dangerous cold snaps. This will affect how easy the buses turn on and warm up.